Hey everybody, welcome back to LEGO Racers 2. I'm your host, Adam Mukros, and today, today's episode, I'm heading over to the mini game over here. I think I can climb up this hill. It's a very steep hill, but I think I can do it. I'm not sure if this is the harder difficulty mini game or if this is the easier one. And it looks like this is a grab a bunch of objectives and bring them back to a certain point without getting hit by the other cars kind of objective, or kind of game. Uh, very similar to the last one, I, th I believe. So I guess we're helping the dinosaurs. And we have to pick up... Uh, supplies? Let's fast forward this, because it's going kind of slow. Alright, so we gotta collect some fuel for them to help the dinosaurs, because dinosaurs run on gasoline. Or I guess they need to drive around and be able to keep an eye on the dinosaurs. So we need to get six barrels of fuel from around the island. I'm assuming we can only carry one at a time. So let's get to that. We got one right over here. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, you stupid Martian. You're not even supposed to be here. All right, so let's grab that barrel of fuel. And I, I now have it in my inventory, so I guess I bring it back. Or do I have to grab them all at the same time? Nope, just one at a time. And it, it, it flies out of my car and explodes. That's real helpful to these guys, I think. <laughs> so I do have more than one slot up there, so I think I can grab more than one at a time. And there is one... Ah, it's all the way up on the top of the hill. Can I make it up? Can I make it up? This is probably a huge waste of time doing it this way. And there's another fuel. So yeah, I can grab them all at the same time, but of course I run the risk of getting hit by an enemy car and losing them all at the same time. So let's go ahead and go drop these ones off real quick. And then after that, I'll have three more. Alright, so... Uh, let's run into stuff. And it looks like we should be able to grab two over here... Uh, pretty quickly in succession. And actually, we should be able to grab three of them over here. So yeah, not, not super difficult. Not difficult at all. I, I, I keep running into stuff. But... Yeah. <laughs> what else do I have to say about that? It's not a super difficult mini game, but it's not a super difficult game. It's a kid's game. What do you expect? Uh, anyways, one more fuel barrel will do it. I wonder if the requirement's like six barrels or something. I hear somebody sliding around. That guy is stuck on a tree. Programming. Uh, anyways, that will about do it. It looks like we have a five fuel barrel limit as to how many we have to carry at a time, so I couldn't just run out there and grab all of them and then run back. And I'm sure the next game I'll have less time and have to collect more barrels because that's just how mini games work. So that about does it for this one. That was pretty easy. So once we drop this off, uh, back up a bit, and there we go. Piece of cake. And now we get another reward. Um, you know, I, I, well, I wanted to balance them out, but the, the upgrades, but I haven't been hit very much like at all during games, so I don't think I really need uh, the shield at the moment. So I think I'm going to go for more power, get a bit more of a speed boost, and that's going to make me even faster. So let's go ahead and hit continue, head back to the hub. And oh, there's actually a sign up here that has the number of golden bricks to find in the overworld, exploring world kind of thing. So I was right about there being three, so that's good that I was right about that. All right, so our portal that we got here from was right here, and last time I took on oh, I suppose I suppose there are little signs to tell you which ones you've been to already. So that one I completed. Uh, so let's head over to this one next. I don't think there's really a specific order you're supposed to do them in terms of like difficulty. I think they're about the same difficulty, all of them. Uh, the only increased difficulty is in going to the boss fight. I have no idea what, just, what Sparky just said there because I was not paying attention. Uh, and I don't really think it's important because last time what he said was not at all important because the rope bridge could not actually collapse like he seemed to be implying. I wonder if that's a game mechanic that they wanted to in implement, but they didn't have time to do or something. And I've got this crazy here guy following me. He's 
got like devil horn hair. Reminds me of Ace Ventura. <laughs> That's a good movie. Uh, anyways, we're heading into the jungle here. Uh, I almost wanted to run into the dinosaur just to see if it actually takes damage off your car or not. Uh, that does take damage off your car running into stuff, and I completely missed that. And I hear a lot of sliding around. And here's a sharp turn. I thought we were going over the bridge for some reason, but I guess we aren't. And it looks like there are actually two T-Rexes. Let's shoot a thing at him and completely miss. Of course, hitting him with a with a disc item is not really going to do anything. He is he he really just counts as an object in the game, a moving object. And wow, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh, I'm getting pushed around. Uh, yeah, a lot more exciting this time around because stuff is actually happening, and I'm not just either a taking a big lead or b. Uh, getting beaten soundly by a single racer. Now there's a lot more racers and it's more interesting. And hopefully I don't lose because that'd be embarrassing. Especially if I, after I just got that power upgrade. It's making me faster. Of course I'm sliding around a bit more than usual I think. That might just be because it's been a couple weeks since I last played. I'm, actually, I'm recording this one right after my previous video and uh, that sucked. Uh, I'm still in 6th, 7th place? Who just passed me? I have no idea who just passed me. Uh, but yeah, now I'm now I'm a bit far behind, and that sucks because I don't want to be yet behind, and I'm sliding around again. Right, let's target the guy ahead of me because yeah, I do have a speed boost. Let's use that. And down the hill, we let's try not to slide out over here. And I'm close to losing all my bricks here, and I could start running. Uh, of course, I did want to show that off, but. Uh, I suppose now is a good time as any. <laughs> oh, yep. Here we go. <laughs> I have no car. <laughs> oh, this is just so silly. I wonder if I can use my speed boost. I can. <laughs> it runs super fast. Uh, while you're running, you cannot pick up items. You run a lot slower. It looks like I do not have the planes behind me while I'm running. So, uh, yeah, that would that would have been funny to see, but sadly it is not so. Uh, I believe I have lost this race pretty soundly right about now. There's only two laps. Uh, the pit stop is still a ways ahead. Did I miss the pit stop back there? Is this, I think it's still ahead up here. So, yeah, this is kind of embarrassing, but at the same time, like I said, I did want to show off this mechanic here. Because it's really funny. I mean, what other in what other racing game do you get your car destroyed and you have to run the rest of the race? I mean, seriously. Who thinks of this stuff? I wonder if I can... I can, <laughs> I can go talk to some guy while I'm racing. His name is apparently Slyboots, so that's kind of an interesting name. So let's get my car back for whatever good it'll do me. Uh, I, I've, already, I've already lost this race. I'm not going to try and hide it. I'm not going to try and... I mean, I could try and win, but it's not going to get me anywhere because I'm so far behind at this point. Alright, here's my car back. I wonder if I stop in the middle of here if I can get more bricks back. Because I think... If, if you just go through it really fast, you're not going to get all your bricks back in. Yeah, that, that would be fun. Although, of course, I don't run much risk of being hit by anything because I'm so far behind. Oh, I actually have an item on me. And there's a T-Rex that I almost hit. And I think that hit some... How did I get up to 7th place? I did not see my... I didn't, I didn't realize I passed anybody. But I guess I did. Maybe he's running too. Although, on the map, it looks like he's going fairly fast, so... And I should probably slow down a little bit while I'm doing this spirally turn type thing. Because otherwise I'm going to slide out again and fall down a level and get blown up and uh, lose my car and lose the race. So, I, I did go over this last episode, but in case you missed... Oh, really? Really? That's just sad. I wonder if I fall in the lava, it'll put me all the way back up where I should be. It does! Alright makes things a little bit easier. So let's see if we can at least beat this guy in this race. So anyways, as I was saying, that should take out his car, I think. Blamo! Yes. So as I was saying, uh, I will not be showing you re-races on camera. I'm going to do those off camera so you guys only have to see each race once because otherwise I feel like it get kind of boring. I, I, racing games are not super interesting to watch all the time and I realize that so I try and keep it as interesting as I can. Uh, obviously, I don't have like huge following or anything, so it's not like it's a huge deal or anything like that. But 
Anyway, so uh, I will see you guys when I've actually beaten this race. And I'm back, and that was a lot easier that time. I took a pretty early lead in first place and held on to it. Uh, actually, a lot of the uh, AI drivers ended up driving off into the lava like I did earlier. Uh, I didn't fall into the lava, I just fell off the track in the volcano. Uh, but some of them ended up doing that in the beginning, so that gave me a good chance to get ahead. So, yeah. Uh, not really a difficult race, I just kind of screwed up in it. Anyways, that's gonna do it for that episode. Next video, uh, how many races do I even have left? Looks like I have. Let's back up all the way. We got two on that side and two on that side. So I'll do a one more race next video, and I'll do a mini game, and then the next video I'll do another race and the boss race. And I also have to find that golden brick at some point. So. Yeah, there's that to look forward to. I will see you guys next time. Uh, until then, this is Adoram Mukros. Peace out.